What's good, Dark Skin Bad Squad? It's your girl, Dark Skin Betty, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I am doing a nail tutorial for you guys, which has been highly requested. So if you guys want to see this video, continue to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on your post notifications to be notified when a new video is uploaded. So let's get to it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and gently push back my cuticles. And I'm going to also clean out my nails with the opposite end of the cuticle stick. So you're going to take it. So you're going to take it and gently push back your cuticles. Don't do it too hard. Just do it good enough so your nail can breathe. And I'm going to take the opposite end, which is a spatula. Well, I call it a spatula. And I'm going to clean my nail out with it and peel the dead skin off around my cuticles. So gently push back your cuticles. Do not make them bleed, just gently. This is what you call the cuticle bit. You use this and you lightly buff around your cuticle with it, with your electric drill. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see more nail videos and other things that you guys would like to see. I'm also going to disclose the giveaway information again because I feel like nobody didn't take the time to um, enter the, gi the giveaway. But if you still want to enter the giveaway, it's still open. So all the thing I'm doing is lightly cleaning around my cuticle bed. This also helps the nail last longer when you, you clean it good. I'm also going to take the 100-180 filer and I'm going to wipe away the shine on a natural nail. Don't do it too hard because you will damage your nail bed. Take your dust brush again or clean it off. So I'm going to take my primer and my dehydrator and I'm, and I'm going to wipe it on my nails. 
The primer is to prep your nails for the nail tip. So I'm gonna take it and put it on my nails. Primer, then dehydrator, or you can do it either way. It depends on how you do yours. I do primer first. So, go ahead with my dehydrator. And this came in a, a kit called a Soaring Nail Kit, which I had bought this on Amazon. So I went to I went to my local Family Dollar and I got these coffin nail tips. They're the full cover tips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them out the package and pick your size accordingly to your nail bed. It has to fit from sidewall to sidewall, just like when you do like the regular tips. This will be my second time doing it like this. I just want to show you guys how do I do it. So, this is how the nail tip is a full cover tip. It fits, but not quietly fits. Okay, just in case if it's one in it that doesn't quietly fit, you can also take your file and file away some of it. Just so you can have that nice crisp shape that you want. Because my fingers are made square and these have like a circular kind of bottom to me if you get what I'm saying also add me on my Instagram it's dark skin baddie. I will leave it down below. And add me on Instagram. Yeah, add me on Instagram. And comments my ideas. Send me some ideas you want to see in future videos. Okay. See, with these, these pinkies are bigger than mine so when i get to um put them on i'm going to show you guys how i do my pinkies since these are like wider than my pinkies in today's video i'm going to use this kiss acrylic professional kit to put over my nail tips so i'm going to show you guys that in a few like i said before it has to fit from side wall to side wall. Make sure there's no air pockets in it. It should look like this. So, you put it on. Now 
make sure you be careful do not get the glue on your skin So with the pinky, I take my filer and I lightly file away the sides a little bit. Don't go too crazy because you don't want to mess up the shape of the nail. So you file away as much as you think you might need. Instead of you have to glue the nail on top of your skin, which then would be very painful if you do, because if you try to take it off, you will rip away your skin. Gently. See? I don't know if you guys can see, but my pinky nail is very short and small. So I think I'm gonna file away a little bit more just for safety purposes. And I'm gonna file up and down on this side and on the other side as well. Now that's much, much better. If you have to, or you put it on your finger, just hold your finger a way that you can, so you can file it, reshape it. Because sometimes when you do, you do look, lose the shape. That's why I take something and I just... See, this is how it should look. This is how it should look after you get them all laid on. So this is how it look like when you put all the tips on. Excuse that piece of little skin that was hanging right there. But this is how it look when you put all the nail, the four cover tips on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take my kiss kit and I'm going to open up it up for you guys. The kiss come the kiss kit comes with a with the brush, the acrylic, and some nail tips, but I don't do white nail tips. You know, could it comes in this little thing right here. They sell these at Walmart, Target, and Walgreens. Or you can order it off Amazon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prep this for you guys. Okay, I got my gap in dish.
I'm going to come back to you guys when I have everything that I need out. I pour some into my dapping dish. Put it off to the side. And have you some napkins. And I'm using this 100% Kalinsky number 8 brush that I ordered off Amazon. And I will leave the link down below. You have to break the brush apart before using it. So, as I prop my brush, so, you want to stick the brush inside the monomer and slow drag it across the acrylic. See? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cover the full cover tip with the acrylic. You can start off with a thin layer and work your way up to, if you want it to be thicker. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see me do it on someone else's hands instead of mine's. Make sure you clean off around your cuticle. Do not flood the cuticle, none whatsoever. And this is how it should look. I thought it was recording, but...
should do the other hand off camera. You see how it looks so roughy a little bit? But don't worry, I want to fix that for you guys. Also, check your hand, your finger, because you could be missing a spot and you don't even know it. Like I just noticed that I was missing a spot. So I did both of my hands are off cam, the other hand off camera. As you see, the only thing I do is clean up around my cuticles real well. Again, like get the excess acrylic off, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna lightly buff, and then I'm going to polish. And today's polish, I'm using Beatles Perfect Gel Polish, and I'm going to do. Rainbow colors. What well, is that? Technically, rainbow colors. I think it's blue, purple, green, pink, and orange, if I'm not mistaken. But you guys will see when I get to this step. So I'm going to take my buffer and lightly buff. It don't really need to be filed because it's already pre shaped. So I'm going to take my buffer to buff all the scratches out. And I think I like this Kiss Acrylic Powder system better because it comes out smooth and you don't have to worry about your brush getting clumped up. So I'm gonna buff it. You can wear them like this or you can either paint them in my case, I'm going to paint my ends. I'm going to paint mine on my end. Make sure you buff away. The scratches, get all these scratches out before you apply your polish. So this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. I gotta wait for these to dry and I'm going to do this hand off camera. So this is my UV lamp. It comes with the settings of 60, 80, and 99. The one that I had before, if you guys seen it in the preview video, it has, it had 99, 80, and no, it had 99, 60, and 30, but this one came with 99, 80, and 60. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take my base coat. So this is my UV lamp. It comes with the settings of 60, 80. In 99 the one that I had before if you guys seen it in the preview video it has it had 99 80 and no it had 99 60 and 30 but this one came with 99 80 and 60 so what I'm going to do first I'm going to take my base coat so I'm going to take a thin layer base coat Just a thin layer. I don't know how 60 would do. So I'm just going to use 60 for right now. Make sure you wipe the excess off your fingers because you do not want that to burn your fingers. I don't know if I'm going to use some rhinestones with this set. We will see. So after you put the base coat on, you will cure it. I 
Also, comment down below how you guys like my makeup. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see me do more makeup tutorials. But, yep, we're going to let this cure for 60 seconds. Oh, this one better than the other one that I had because it actually, I feel it. Because last time I couldn't feel anything. And this is what the polishes looks like. I think I'm going to use all the colors. Comment down below what colors you think I should use. But I prefer all of them. They all look gorgeous. So I have buff this side as well. I'm going to use this neon yellow. It is two seventy seven. I'm going to use this one for my pointed finger. Oh my god, it is so pretty. And my mentor, she had bought me this for my birthday. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't vlog for my birthday. I was too lit. <laughs> So I couldn't record for you guys. Comment down below and wish me a happy birthday. Even though my birthday was on Wednesday. And you love me, so. Make sure you, you wipe around. Don't get it on your finger. So once it's on there, it's stuck. I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Then the next color I'm going to go in is with this green. That's 278. After I go in with this green, I think I'm going to do this orange. You can use two coats if you want, two or three coats if you want, but I prefer one for right now because it looks very nice as one, but yeah. See how good that looks and I only use one coat so I'm going with 278 for the thumb Ooh, this is a pretty green This is cute. So, after you put it on, you have to cure it. But I'm just going to go in with the other colors. So, I don't waste too much time trying to record this for you guys. This is pretty self-explanatory. This orange is pretty. I normally don't get orange. 
nail polish, but this is one polish I think I do like. And you don't need that much. I think I put too much on that. Follow my Instagram. Follow my nails page at Juju's Nail Trap. And I'm going to link that down below as well I'm going to cure this and I'm going to come back to you guys this is the end product comment down below of how you guys think they look I might add rhinestones I don't know but comment down below on how you guys like them. I, I'm so in love with the colors, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. But. Thank you.